What is Wednesday? It's back day, baby. Heading to the gym to kill some back. Awesome down south, man. I'm telling you right now, if you got the opportunity to move down south, you're living up north somewhere, pack your bags, baby, and come on down. I lived in New York for 25 years, born and raised. Best decision I ever made was getting my butt down south, people. We're two hours from Atlanta. It's gorgeous down here. Atlanta, Georgia, two hours. We live in the Birmingham suburb. So uh, let's get right to it. I've got two questions that landed on my YouTube channel. My boy Cisco says he wants a beach body. Abs, nice lean muscle tone. Doesn't want to be huge. Can't believe you don't want to be huge. What? So he wants to know, do I have to train heavy just for a beach body? All right, man, that's a cool question. I'll forgive you for not wanting to be huge. I understand. Not really. Uh, next, the Robin Hood ripoff. Yeah, the Robin Hood ripoff. Let's talk about that. I'm going to talk about that first. We'll do the beach body next. The Robin Hood ripoff. Let's go back to January 28th and 29th. Robin Hood's blowing up. GameStop's blowing up. What's happening? It's a huge pump. Huge pump. And you know who's covering all the shorts? For the time being, Robin Hood's covering all the GameStop shorts, okay? They start freaking out because there's just an avalanche of money that they're having to cover. So what they do is they shut down instant deposit investing. Instant deposit investing. Which means if you don't already have money in your Robin Hood account, <clears throat> you ain't buying no Dogecoin that night and you ain't buying no GameStop that night. Okay, they need to put a lasso around that and slow it down, which they did. I get a text from a buddy of mine. Um, I can't remember what time it was, but he's freaking out. Dude, Doge is going nuts and I can't buy in. Robin Hood shut it down. They won't let me buy. He's like, go in and see if you can buy. And I'm already watching Doge explode. I'm already planning my vacation to Cancun. I'm making so much money that night. So I go in and I'm like, all right, let me see if I can buy 15 Doge. I still have the Doge that I bought that night. I went in to see what my price was that I ended up buying those coin at. They let me buy because I already had money sitting in my Robinhood account. I didn't have to transfer money. I ended up buying those coin at 0.064. That was the first time I was alerted that you couldn't purchase. Now... Nobody else, if you didn't already have money sitting in your Robinhood account, you couldn't buy Doge, you couldn't buy, like I just said, GameStop. I want you to look back, everybody thinking that they harmed you in some way, or, you know, I'm not going to say if it was right or it was wrong shutting it down, but for let's say all you folks out there that are investors, think of if people got trapped at the 7, 8, and 9 cents, it would have been great for us. From an investor point of view... That's awesome because you're trapped at eight cents. That means you ain't selling. That means you ain't going nowhere. You paid double. Woo! Yeah. From a buying standpoint, though, think about it. Who wants to be trapped? Robin Hood saved you from being trapped at eight cents, nine cents. Had they not have shut down the instant purchase on invest with your money, if you would have not had to wait four or five days to settle your money, how many of you dudes would have actually bought in at eight cents? You would have chased, right? And then what happened five days later when your money would have settled had they had you not been stopped, Doge was back down to six, then it went to five, then it went to four, right? So you would have doubled. You would have paid double for your Doge. 
had they not shut it down. So I'm not picking sides here or what was right or what was wrong. All I'm saying, it happened, and a lot of you people would have been screwed had it not happened. That's the way I look at it. So will it happen again? I highly doubt it's going to happen again because you have to have all these circumstances accumulate and fall at the same time. Very rare that that happens. I don't think it's going to happen again. So put your trust in Doge. A lot of people are bust or uh, uh, Robin Hood. Everybody's busting on Robin Hood saying that, <clears throat> which I agree it doesn't have a wallet, but it will soon. Don't bust on them for that. It's coming. But if you're just investing and accumulating Doge, there's nothing wrong with Robin Hood. And it is safe. A lot of people out there talking about losing their money if it were to get hacked. Hey, man, I've had my money wrapped up in Robin Hood for years. And it's never been hacked. So let's get rid of that stupid idea, man. Let's not live in fear, okay? As far as my buddy goes that needs a beach body, he wants to uh, stay lean, mean. He doesn't want to get massive. Do you have to train heavy? Yeah, man. This is the way it works. In order to break that muscle tissue down to recover and have it grow, one of two things is going to have, have to happen. You're either going to have to train really heavy, and if you train heavy, it's going to happen faster, or you're going to have to do lighter reps with a lot of, you know, drop sets and, you know, giant sets and light weight, and how long is that going to take? I can build that beach body in just a few months if I'm using heavy weight versus you using lighter weight and doing giant sets and high reps. It's going to take you a year. It's going to take you maybe over a year to build the same physique that I'll build using my heavy weight. You see what I'm saying? So the whole point here is how fast do you want to build that physique? Heavy weight's going to do it faster. Now, pay attention to one other thing. There's a huge factor here. Eating is the most important. You have to eat to get massive. As long as you're not eating to get massive, you won't get massive or huge or, you know, walk around like you're 250 pounds, bodybuilder, powerlifter. It's almost impossible to look like that. There's a lot of other factors in play to get you that big, okay? The training alone isn't it. So if you're just training for this beach body and you want to do it in a few months, train heavy. Break the tissue down faster. Have it recover faster from the heavier weight. If you have a year, then go ahead. Train lighter. Do higher reps. Do drop sets. Do giant sets. Get creative. And it'll happen either way. My point is I like to do things fast, so I would use the heavier weight. All right, everybody. Ah, I'm off to the gym, man. I got to train my back. Big back attack on a Wednesday, baby. Have a great day. Peace.